This is a KLST Severe Weather Update. Meteorologist Josh Johns here in the KLST Weather Center again, trying not to cover up your March Madness, but again, we do have a tornado warning for Runnels County until 7 p.m. Just to the south of Rowena, that's where I'm seeing this threat of some rotation here, and that's why the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning. Now, we don't have any reports of a tornado, but better safe than starry. If you're in Rowena, be taking cover. We're going to go ahead and go back to high-res radar, because that will give us a better view of this storm, but hell, up to the size of uh, baseballs are possible just to the north of Rowena. So let me pan this up for you. I'm going to go over here and get my pan tool and we're going to pan this up. And if you live north of Rowena, southwest of Ballinger, that's where you have the threat of some hail up to the size of baseballs here just to the north of Rowena. Now let me put a track. Are we going to warm up today or are we going to stay pretty cool? What do you think? You know, I need my coffee for two reasons this morning. I gotta have it to stay awake and to stay warm. It's a little chilly out there. Another great shot from Tim Vasquez. This is of those storms over the DFW area. He's looking east from San Angelo this evening, and you can see some of those tops going up. Pretty strong storms out if there. If you're heading out tonight, grab that jacket, bring in those pets and those pant plants. Bring your pants in, too, because it'll be a little, you don't want those to be chilly. <laughs> but our radar replay, you can see the snow that formed last night around 8, 9 o'clock, moved through San Angelo, then off to the south, finally died down around 3 o'clock. Definitely a pretty sight outside. Check out this video of the big flakes falling from uh, Padilla Painting on Facebook there. This is taken San Angelo's stock show and rodeo, and I'm sitting here with Mutton Bustin' Superintendent, Mr. Corey Owens. Corey, tell the folks at home that maybe don't know what Mutton Bustin' is, can you tell them a little bit of what it's about? Yeah, Mutton Busting is uh, riding sheep for little kids. So, tough enough to wear a pink night. The rodeo starts at 7.30 tonight. Uh, go ahead and grab your pink shirt, your pink boots, pink jeans. I don't know, have you seen pink jeans before? Um, my daughter was Miss Rodeo Texas. We had several pink jeans so yes absolutely that, that's really cool so grab your pink stuff get out here the rodeo starts at 7 30 and uh help support the folks at the american cancer society right, corpus christi but we're going to see those nine degrees in lubbock that's kind of what it'll feel like outside as you step outside here's 2 30 a.m winds are out of the north at 21 miles per hour feel likes in the single digits that feel like temperature it gets below zero by the time you head out for your church Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m., look at that. Everyone near zero, if not below, negative three there in Sterling no, City. It's been really clear outside. That allowed us to get really warm. We hit a high today of 93 degrees. That's 30 degrees above average. Really, really warm today. Our normal is 63. The good news, tomorrow, we're going back to normal. Temperatures going back into the 60s. That's what's drifting our way, and that's what's going to bring that chance of precipitation to us. The best chances, I'm still thinking, are going to be our northern counties, where I have a 30% chance of that wintry mix from Sterling City over to Ballinger, only a 20% chance from San Angelo down to the Increase south. Increase as we head through the next few days. Lots of rain down there in South Texas. The closer you are to that low, the better your rain chances. So that's why on Monday we're going to have a 30% chance of rain for our southeastern counties, 20% chance here in town, 10% off to the northwest. The answer is eight inches. Eight. It fell in Winkler County out in May 31st of 1960. Winkler County is out to the west of Midland. Okay. And I hunt, hunted around the studio to try to find something that was about that size, and I found <laughs> this on top of Andrew's <laughs> desk. And uh, if you've seen Castaway, you know what yeah. this is. But we'll that equates to about the size of a volleyball. So imagine this falling out of the sky and just hitting the ground like that. That's some big hail. I can't even imagine. That's, that's just too scary to me. Absolutely nuts. With your Concho Valley weather, here's meteorologist. Josh Johns. Welcome back to KLST News on this Saturday afternoon as we head into the evening. We have a few high clouds out there from our Cactus West Sky Cam. That should make for a really pretty sunset tonight. It will be a nice Sunday tomorrow, and then we'll have rain chances start to work into our area starting on Monday and hanging on to the middle of the week. The sun moves in after that, and it's going to be another nice weekend. But if you do get a pretty picture of the sunset tonight, be sure to send it to us on social media. You can send it to me at Josh Johns WX, meteorologist Josh Johns, or you can send it to us at KLST News and KLST news on Facebook. Let's take a look at your current temperatures outside. We're in the 90s and the 80s right now. It's 88 in Junction, 87 is your current temperature in Big Lake, 90 in Brady, and 91 here in San Angelo, 92 your temperature for you up in uh, Coke County right now. Dew points are in the 30s and 40s, so it's kind of dry outside. Those dry dew points will let our temperatures drop down into the 50s tonight, and it should be a pretty mild night. Winds are out of the south, and they're going to continue out of the south. They'll taper off into the evening and then kick back up 
tomorrow. Temperatures across the state are about the same, 90s across the area, 94 down there in Laredo, and no 100s on the board right now. We've got high pressure in place. That's going to keep all the storms off to our east and west for now, but that is going to move off to the east. As that happens, our next storm system out here south of California, that's going to slide in uh, as we head into the middle of the week, and that's what's bringing our chance of rain. Watch it on our atmospheric energy map. You can see that ball of energy there with the more energy in the red. As that moves in on Monday and Tuesday, we'll see our rain chances slowly move up. Talk about a 20% chance on Tuesday. Another stronger wave of energy will swing across on Wednesday. That'll break uh, make our rain chances go up to 30 percent and then a little bit of lingering rain as that storm system starts to move out of the way as we head into Thursday and Friday and then watch how we enter this upper level ridge Friday and Saturday that's going to make our weekend pretty sunny and pretty warm it'll be another nice weekend for a barbecue but watch out for that rain tonight temperatures get down into the 50s and the 60s 59 in Robert Lee I think we're a little bit warm on these temperatures here I think we're going to drop more into the upper uh, 50s because the air is so dry out there and I don't think the model's picking up on that right now. Tomorrow temperatures up into the upper 80s, lower 90s again. South winds will be a little gusty at 15 miles per hour, but it'll be another very sunny day. Nowhere near those records and a little bit warmer than normal. Normal there is 86. Look at your extended forecast. We've got 91 on Sunday, 82 on Monday and Tuesday. A 10 and 20 percent chance of rain there. Best chance of rain comes up on Wednesday and we'll have to watch because with the heat there, some of those storms could get on the strong side. Uh, models are a little bit iffy on the fact of severe weather right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. And then temperatures get up into the upper 80s on Thursday. A weak cold front will slide in on Friday and that'll make things a little bit cooler for Friday, but then we heat back up on Saturday. A high of 85. We'll be right back. So here's why we didn't have storms. Our answer is the cap. Now you've heard me talk about this before, but I'm going to show you what it actually is. We had all the energy we needed out there yesterday afternoon, about seven o'clock, and we had a cold uh, dry line sitting right over us. So usually that means we get storms, but here's what happened. Out in the plains of Mexico, in the Chihuahuan Desert, it gets pretty hot. I mean, it gets up to 100, 108 degrees. That's what happened yesterday. Winds come out of the southwest, bring that over us, and storms will try to go up. But as long as the air around them are warmer than the air below us, they fall back down. And in this case, it took 105 degrees to break that cap. Remember, yesterday, we only got up to 97. So no storms yesterday afternoon. Now, where they didn't have the cap... Uh, over Oklahoma and North Texas, they had storms fire up, very bad storms with Hennig size hail and quarters, and even a few tornadoes out towards Arkansas. So fast forward to earlier this morning, we had a cold front coming. We still had all that energy out there, but we still had that cap in place, and it took 99 degrees to break. So that's why we didn't have storms over the, yesterday and into this morning. And it stinks because we really need the rain. Plenty of wind. That's what we call a shelf cloud that came out ahead of those storms. And it's very meteorologically fun to describe here. This is the view looking north from our Cactus Sky Cam that I snapped and sent out on Twitter. See how this cloud is diving down like this? That's cold air rushing out of the storm like this. At the same time, you've got warm air rising up into it. Creates that little bit of a shelf there, and it's actually rolling like this. So as it comes across, it looks like it's rolling like it did there on that sky cam. That's a sign that you're going to get some high winds. So whenever you see one of those, be sure to get in. This is a KLST Severe Weather Update. Meteorologist Josh Johns here in the KLST Weather Center. Want to give you a quick update while we're in between games here. But a severe thunderstorm warning for Coleman and Ronalds County. The good news is the storm has moved out of the Ballinger area. It does still have the capability to produce tennis ball size hail, but is now confined to uh, southeastern Coleman County. So Dan Meteorologist Josh Johns out here in Sterling County, about five miles to outside, two to five miles outside Sterling City. We're keeping our eye on this storm. County between uh, Glasscock, and, or coming out of Glasscock County, coming into Sterling County. And if you look in there, you see quite a bit of scud down there uh, in that cloud. We're looking directly under the storm there. That dark area off to the right here. If I can see my hand, there we go. This is meteorologist Josh Johns here on my day off. I'm sitting here watching the Rangers game, and I'm also watching a few storms that are chilling off to our west. So I want to give you an update on those. Take a look at live Doppler right now. You can see those storms sitting out there off to the west of San Angelo, out towards Midland and Odessa. And I'm going to put a loop on these, and you'll notice that these storms are pushing off to the east towards us. So I think we'll be able to see a few storms here later on overnight in the Concha Valley, and some of those may wake you up, which is why I'm giving you a quick update on them. You can see where they stretch right now from Midland down towards Fort Stockton, starting to push into Crockett County a little bit, into Reagan County as well. 
Now, these storms aren't severe right now. They were severe when they were back over Midland, but uh, definitely lost a little bit of their punch as they've gone in the evening, although we do have another wave of energy coming across, and that's why we're seeing a little bit more lightning there uh, as it pushes into Crockett County. So uh, let's take you on through time with these. Uh, just going to jump over to high res real quick. Start again so I can show you where the storm is. There's that storm. And what's basically happening is we're looking, we're looking this way. So if you see that storm there, that's what we're looking at right there. Storm, and eh, it screwed up on me. But basically, we're looking this way towards the storm. We got a V notch on the radar there, and that's a sign of a really strong updraft, which is why we're concerned about hail with that storm. And let me pop on the location so you can see where we are. Two. Jane, happy Easter. Janice, uh, hopefully it's not too bad either. Um, you say your parents live here. That's awesome. Uh, Carlos, you say you got to cut grass in Ozona. Well, good luck with cutting your grass. You, can, you probably have a few more hours that you can cut it before it blows up there in Crockett County. Lauren, you're asking how severe it will be. Well, the best, uh, the, it's not a really big severe threat. So I'm only inspecting a little bit of large hail with some of these storms. Maybe some gusty winds, 50, 55, maybe 60 miles per hour with the strongest storms. But the thing is, we don't have a lot of shear out there. That's what kind of keeps these storms organized. So without that stuff to keep them organized, it's not going to be a very big severe weather threat. But uh, just want to give you all a heads up so you don't, uh, don't get caught out in it. Uh, Weston, love you too. Kathy, you say, is it bad in Fort Stockton? Your dad lives there. Let's see if it's bad in Fort Stockton. So let's switch over here. Go over to Fort Stockton. I think they've had a little bit of hail out there up to the size of quarters. Uh, there's the current look at Fort Stockton, and right now they're just getting a real light shower. But they did have a stronger storm out there earlier uh, in Pecos County. With your Concho Valley weather, here's meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back to KLST News on this Saturday uh, evening here. If you thought it was cold this morning, you were right. We hit 11 degrees at Mathis Field today. That's the coldest temperature we've seen in about three years. Back in 2014, we dropped to 9 degrees on January 9th. So definitely a cold day across the Contra Valley. It was 11 in San Angelo. Check out these low temperatures from across the area, though. 11, your low temperature in Mertzen, uh, also in Coleman and Bowser. It got down to 2 degrees in Sterling City this morning. Now, that is is at a mesonet site that's in the valley, so cold air likes to drain there. Nevertheless, a very cold morning. Nine degrees, your low temperature in El Dorado and Menard, and seven to Mertzen and Eden. So some very, very cold temperatures today. The good news? We've got a warm-up on the way. We've got to get through another cold night, though, tonight. The warm-up begins tomorrow, and then we'll have a late-week cool-down with storms possible, not expecting anything like the temperatures we saw today. Temperature right now is 36 degrees at Mathis Field. Our dew point is 12, relative humidity of about 37%. Winds are out of the east-northeast at 7 miles per hour. We'll see those switch around to the south tonight. Here's your temperatures area-wide, 42 in Robert Lee, 35 right now in Eden, 39 in Junction and El Dorado, and 42, 41, Brady and Mason. Look at the dew points there in the single digits. So we're going to get cold again tonight, especially with these winds that are light around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Calm winds right now in Sterling City. And looking at satellite and radar, it's pretty clear across Texas. We've got high pressure system in place over central Texas. That's why we were so cold. The center of that high was so close to us. It's going to scoot off to the east by the time we head through the next few days. That'll switch our winds around to the south and start that warm-up. We've got a cold front coming on shore there in California. That's kind of going to wash out, but we've got another one that's going to form near the Gulf of Alaska. That'll move through on Friday. Meanwhile, our cold front that came through, it's all the way down in Mexico now. A really deep surge of Arctic air. Here's Futurecast, though. Temperatures on Futurecast are in the 20s. I think we're going to drop closer to 19 or 20 degrees. Winds will be pretty calm tonight. Tomorrow, those winds go about 10 to 20. We warm up to the upper 40s, middle 50s. It'll feel a lot nicer than it did today. And then dropping down to the 30s by the time you wake up Monday morning. But look at Monday afternoon. All the way up to the 60s in some spots. 
And on Tuesday and Wednesday, we could be talking about 70s. Certainly warmer weather coming to the Contra Valley. Tonight, though, down to 19, another cold night. Winds of the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow, up to 52, sunny and warmer. Winds of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And take a look at your extended forecast, your weather authority extended forecast. we got 52 on Sunday, 67 on Monday. But look at Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, upper 70s. 75 on Thursday before that cold front moves on through, bringing us a chance of rain. We'll be right back.